this has a real effect on people. And you're also involved in, 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 in events in Mexico um, in terms of the black, black fire mine, is that right? right? Yeah, well, Common and Frontiers brought that forward, yes. So uh, let's just finish up by talking about what's happening at that mine, what's happened and what could happen in this soon um, to try and remedy the problem. Okay. Well, j just to put that in perspective, um, the mining uh, sector, um, Canadian mining companies um, are very involved around the world. It's a foremost sector. Uh, but um, operating in developing countries, the, the, the companies sometimes, um, because often because free trade agreements aren't rigid enough or because there aren't any kind of overarching rules, there's been what is perceived as a lot of, um, of violation of human rights and, and uh, environmental considerations. And now in where the Blackfire Mine is in the Chiapas region, um, there's been um, there have been a few murders lately, and I don't know, I'm not going to say where, who it's attributed to, but it's been around the, the Black Fire Mine also. But what is attributable is that <coughs> there also has been uh, released the actual receipts of payments from the mayor uh, to the mayor of that community from Black Fire to keep the, uh, any opposition under tabs. And so there's a case being brought forward by a number of NGOs in Canada uh, with that actual documentation from REMA, which is a group there that's concerned about this. Then that's going to be going forward uh, under the, uh, it's a Corrupt Officials uh, Act, the uh, Corruption of Foreign Officials Act, which the RCMP administers. So my understanding is that when this package of documentation goes to the uh, RCMP, uh, they'll decide whether it's going forward or not. We should be clear, uh, you know, the murders, uh, one of the murders involved one of the leading activists in the community who That's had been right. leading protests and petitions to the mine to try to prevent them from dumping into the local lake uh, and polluting it. Right. Um, and the result was that, that he's now dead. Uh, mm -hmm. Three people were arrested in the case. Yeah. All of them had either worked for the mine or were still employed by the mine yeah. at the time of the murder. Very good. Uh, That's right. We don't know yet yeah. who's ex who, whether they were acting on someone's orders, whether they thought they were pleasing their bosses on their own. But the fact is, is that a Canadian operation in Mexico resulted in the death of the death of an activist That's and right. in the bribery of a mayor. Mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of a, I think it's a place where we should stop. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say that you know our work is real. Uh, it's not just about acronyms and meetings Absolutely and governments not. negotiating. No. It's about real people. Yeah, and and, and this corporate uh, responsibility side has been something that I was uh, very much involved in on behalf of Sierra Club, working with counterparts in the U.S. And uh, through that process, uh, we've we've produced a lot of uh, educational powerpoints to help educate our membership. You know about you know corporate responsibility. Uh, water privatization, various issues like that. Well, Janet Eden, thank you for dropping in. Thank you. It's good to be here.